Why I Keep Failing, Just Let Go. Written by Theo E. David. Welcome back to our audio bookshelf. We hope you enjoy the book and please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons to get our latest content. Enjoy. Introduction. Welcome to the paradox of pursuit as encapsulated by Aldous Huxley's words, this book speaks to the inherent tension between effort and surrender. When we desperately chase after something, our conscious will becomes overbearing, creating a sense of strain and resistance. This intense focus can ironically block the very pathways to success we so desperately seek. This is where the paradoxical art of doing and not doing comes into play. It's about finding the delicate balance between action and surrender. It's about putting in the necessary effort while also letting go of the need to control the outcome. Understanding when to move forward with vigor and when to back off and let things develop naturally is a key component of letting go. By embracing this equilibrium, people can attract opportunities instead of chasing them down. This paradox reveals a profound truth. Surrender can be as powerful as effort in achieving our goals. When we trust the process and refrain from excessive control, we often find that what we desire comes to us more easily and harmoniously. This delicate dance between effort and surrender is akin to navigating the currents of a river. There are moments when we must paddle with all our might, directing our course and making decisive moves. Yet there are also times when we must simply allow the river to carry us, trusting in its natural flow. It is in this harmonious interplay that we find the true essence of success, not as a product of sheer force, but as a symbiotic relationship with the forces around us. By practicing the paradoxical art of doing and not doing, we learn to recognize the signs that tell us when to act and when to yield. This wisdom, cultivated through patience and mindfulness, opens up a world of possibilities. We begin to see that success is not a distant goal to be pursued with relentless fervor, but a state of being that we align ourselves with through balanced effort and trust. In this space of balance, we discover that our goals and dreams are not so much conquered as they are invited into our lives. The paradox of pursuit thus transforms from a challenge into an art, where the mastery lies not in the intensity of our chase, but in the grace of our surrender. Chapter 1. The Paradox of Pursuit We frequently struggle with the contradictory link between effort and surrender when we pursue our objectives and aspirations. It is a commonly held belief that achievement is the result of diligence, willpower, and unwavering effort. But there is wisdom in understanding when to give up, relinquish control, and allow life to take its course. Work is the foundation of development and progress. To overcome challenges and realize our goals, we need discipline, tenacity, and focus. Overwork, on the other hand, can result in stress, burnout, and a never-ending sensation of struggle. Surrender does not mean to give up or to be helpless. It is putting your faith in the process, letting go of your attachment to the result, and letting things happen organically. By letting go, we can be receptive to opportunities and new options that might not have been apparent with just willpower. The secret is to strike a healthy balance between giving in and exerting effort. It's a delicate dance that calls for self-awareness and intuition to know when to move forward with determination and when to back off and trust in the guidance of the cosmos. Spiritual and personal development are fundamentally characterized by this tension between effort and surrender. We may overcome obstacles with elegance, resiliency, and inner serenity if we embrace both sides in harmony. Unintentionally creating a barrier that prevents them from succeeding is what happens when people are obsessed to the point of desperation with pursuing their ambitions. The inability to trust the process, the fear of failing, and the unwavering drive for instant results are the hallmarks of this desperate pursuit. In the rush to succeed, people may take shortcuts, act impulsively, or ignore crucial information out of a desire for instant satisfaction. In the long run, this obliging strategy frequently leads to disappointments and lost chances. People who are afraid of failing may push themselves too far, which can result in stress, burnout, and eventually self-sabotage. A hurry that impairs judgment and hinders clear thinking is produced by this fear-based mindset. Insufficient faith in oneself, other people, or the cosmos leads to frantic pursuit. People limit their ability to progress and undercut their own potential when they doubt their own abilities and are continuously looking outside for confirmation. In addition to impeding progress, this loop of disappointment and despair is sustained by the obstruction caused by the frenzy chase. 
People can become truly successful by removing this obstacle, letting go of the demand for instant results, conquering the fear of failing, and developing trust in the process. Suffice it to say that perseverance, patience, and faith are just as important to success as unwavering pursuit. People are able to overcome obstacles with clarity, purpose, and grace when they find a balance between effort and surrender and refrain from desperate chasing feelings. Real success is achievable with this harmonic strategy without compromising well-being or inner serenity. Attempting to force a flower to bloom before its time is an exercise in futility, much like trying to control outcomes beyond our immediate influence. This subtopic delves into the detrimental effects of overbearing will and the illusion of control that it creates. When individuals attempt to micromanage every aspect of their lives, they often overlook the natural rhythms and processes that govern growth and development. Just as a flower requires time, sunlight, water, and nutrients to bloom, personal growth also necessitates patience, nurturing, and trust in the unfolding journey. The futility of overbearing will become apparent when individuals resist the flow of life by imposing rigid expectations and timelines on themselves. This resistance not only stifles creativity and spontaneity, but also breeds frustration and disappointment when reality fails to align with its predetermined outcomes. Moreover, the relentless pursuit of control can lead to burnout, anxiety, and a sense of powerlessness when faced with unforeseen challenges or setbacks. By relinquishing the need for absolute control and embracing uncertainty as an inherent part of life's tapestry, individuals can cultivate resilience, adaptability, and a deeper sense of inner peace. Chapter 2. The Internal Pressure of Relentless Pursuit Using intense focus to generate resistance in the face of difficulties and setbacks is an effective strategy. By focusing intently on a particular objective or work, people might develop the mental toughness necessary to overcome hardship. The capacity to filter out distractions is a crucial component of building resistance through focused concentration. It might be difficult to stay laser-focused on the task at hand in the fast-paced, constantly stimulating world of today. However, people can develop a resilience that enables them to endure failures by teaching their minds to disregard outside distractions and be completely present in the moment. The ability to remain driven and motivated in the face of failures or setbacks is another crucial component of acute focus. People who fully commit to achieving a goal might cultivate a sense of resolve that drives them ahead in the face of adversity. Intense concentration can also assist people in accessing their creative and inner strength reserves. When someone is totally focused on a topic, they frequently come up with fresh ideas and methods that they may not have thought of previously. People are able to think creatively and come up with novel solutions to problems because they are more alert and focused. People frequently find themselves limiting their own abilities and intuition in the constant pursuit of a goal or ambition. The pressure to achieve can cause people to become narrowly focused, ignoring their natural abilities and intuition in favor of a particular result. People risk missing out on chances for original thought and creative problem solving if they ignore their innate strengths in an effort to live up to expectations or standards set by others. People might adhere to traditional methods or tactics rather than embracing their own strengths. This suppression of innate skills can also apply to intuition, which is frequently discounted in favor of logical decision-making procedures. However, intuition is extremely important for pointing people in the direction of the best course of action or resolution, particularly in situations involving uncertainty or ambiguity. People run the danger of losing touch with their inner compass and missing out on important insights that could result in breakthroughs or new perspectives when they ignore their intuition in favor of logic or reason alone. People can access a more profound reservoir of creativity and insight by accepting and developing their intuitive sense, which may not be available through merely analytical methods. A typical temptation that arises when people pursue their objectives or aspirations relentlessly is the impulse to control the result. People's fear of disappointment or failure fuels their need for certainty and predictability, which makes them micromanage every step of their success journey. The need to control the result is frequently a result of psychological anxieties, cultural expectations, or outside influences. People may feel under pressure to meet predetermined benchmarks or milestones precisely for fear that deviating from them will make them fail or bring criticism from others. 
This drive for control can result in an inflexible way of thinking that stifles creativity and adaptation. People who become fixated on a particular result could miss out on other routes that could lead to even greater achievement or fulfillment. Furthermore, people may experience excessive stress and worry as a result of their constant desire for control over the result since they will become paralyzed by ambiguity. People who are constantly in need of control may find it difficult to be creative, innovative, or spontaneous because they will be too preoccupied with getting things done right the first time rather than enjoying the process. People need to embrace uncertainty as a necessary component of growth and development and learn to trust in their talents in order to escape this cycle of control. People expose themselves to fresh experiences and opportunities that can exceed their initial expectations when they give up the urge for total control and make space for serendipity and unexpected results. Chapter 3. The Paradoxical Art of Doing and Not Doing In the pursuit of our goals and ambitions, it is crucial to find a delicate balance between taking action and surrendering to the flow of life. This subtopic explores the intricate dance between proactive effort and letting go, highlighting the importance of knowing when to push forward and when to release control. One key aspect of this balance is recognizing that while action is necessary for progress, there are moments when surrendering to the natural course of events can lead to unexpected opportunities or outcomes. By learning to discern when to act decisively and when to trust in the unfolding of events, individuals can navigate their paths with greater ease and grace. Another important element is understanding that surrender does not equate to passivity or resignation. It involves a deep sense of trust in oneself and the universe, allowing for a harmonious alignment between personal effort and divine timing. By relinquishing the need for total control and embracing uncertainty, individuals can tap into a higher wisdom that guides them toward their true purpose. Finding this delicate balance also requires cultivating self-awareness and intuition. By tuning into one's inner guidance system, Individuals can discern whether a situation calls for assertive action or patient surrender. This heightened awareness enables them to make decisions from a place of clarity and alignment with their authentic selves. Within the paradoxical art of doing and not doing, finding the balance between putting in the necessary effort and letting go is a crucial aspect of personal growth and success. It involves understanding when to actively engage in tasks that move you as closer to our goals, and when to release control and trust in the natural unfolding of events. One key element of this balance is learning to put in effort without becoming overly attached to specific outcomes. By focusing on the process rather than fixating on results, individuals can maintain a sense of detachment that allows for greater flexibility and adaptability. Putting in the necessary effort while letting go also requires embracing uncertainty and acknowledging that not everything is within our control. By surrendering to the unknown and trusting in the wisdom of life's unfolding, individuals can cultivate resilience and openness to new possibilities. Finding the delicate balance between effort and surrender involves practicing mindful action. This means being fully present and engaged in each task while also maintaining awareness of when it is time to step back and allow things to progress naturally. Mindful action helps individuals avoid burnout while staying aligned with their intentions. Releasing the need for control is a fundamental aspect of mastering the paradoxical art of doing and not doing. It involves letting go of the illusion that we have complete power over every aspect of our lives and accepting that some things are beyond our influence. Releasing the need for control requires surrendering to the natural flow of life. Instead of trying to micromanage every detail, individuals can practice trust in the universe's unfolding and allow events to take their course without resistance. By releasing the need for control, individuals can cultivate faith in themselves and in a higher power or universal intelligence. This faith provides a sense of peace and reassurance, knowing that even when things don't go as planned, there is a greater purpose at play. Letting go of control also involves embracing impermanence and recognizing that change is inevitable. By accepting this truth, individuals can release attachment to specific outcomes and find freedom in embracing uncertainty. Chapter 4. Understanding the Power of Surrender Surrender is a profound discipline that necessitates a strong feeling of trust and surrender to embrace life's flow and let things unfold organically. 
It is letting go of the demand for complete control and accepting the uncertainty that comes with navigating the ups and downs of life. Having faith in divine timing is essential to accepting flow since it means having faith in the universe's impeccable timing. Giving up the need to make things happen on our terms allows us to be more receptive to unforeseen possibilities and fortunate circumstances that serve our best good. Part of allowing flow is letting go of resistance to what is happening right now. We needlessly cause tension and difficulty when we fight against reality or attempt to swim against the flow. We can discover clarity and serenity in the midst of chaos by accepting things as they are. It takes resilience and patience to let things happen as they naturally unfold. It entails accepting that things won't always go as planned or on our schedule. We may remain rooted in the here and now and have faith that things are working out as they should when we have patience. Trusting in the process and letting go of resistance are essential components of surrendering to the flow of life. When we trust in the process, we acknowledge that there is a greater plan at work beyond our understanding. This trust allows us to release the need for control and surrender to the unfolding journey. Letting go of resistance involves accepting what is without judgment or attachment. Resistance often stems from fear or a desire for things to be different than they are. By releasing resistance, we open ourselves up to new possibilities and opportunities that may not have been visible before. One key aspect of trusting in the process is having faith in divine timing. This means believing that everything is happening exactly as it should, even if it doesn't align with our personal timeline or expectations. By relinquishing the urge to force outcomes, we create space for miracles and synchronicities to manifest in our lives. Cultivating a mindset of trust and surrender requires practice and patience. It involves letting go of the need to constantly control outcomes and learning to flow with life's natural rhythm. By embracing uncertainty and releasing resistance, we can find peace and clarity amidst chaos. Chapter 5. Unlocking Natural Abilities and Intuition Unlocking innate talents and intuition requires creating an atmosphere that inspires and stimulates innovation. People can discover their innate wisdom and special abilities by creating an environment that supports these traits, which promotes personal development and enjoyment. Allowing time for experimentation and exploration is essential to fostering creativity. Innovative ideas and solutions can arise from giving oneself the freedom to try new things, make mistakes, and learn from experiences. People can overcome limiting ideas and unleash their creative potential by adopting an open-minded, curious mindset. Physical space is just as important for promoting creativity as time. An uncluttered space with inspiring features like artwork, plants, or natural light can spark creativity and promote new viewpoints. Setting up a room for artistic endeavors helps tell the mind that it is time to concentrate on coming up with fresh ideas. Moreover, it might foster creativity to surround oneself with a variety of inspiration sources. One can develop new perspectives and creative ideas by interacting with individuals from many backgrounds, exploring nature, and engaging with various art forms. People can discover latent abilities and broaden their creative horizons by actively seeking out fresh experiences and viewpoints. To foster creativity, one must also embrace spontaneity and playfulness. People can access their intuitive instincts and release their creative energies by letting go of strict systems and expectations. By bypassing logical constraints, playful experimenting can result in breakthroughs in problem-solving and thought processes. Naturally developing intuition and natural abilities require paying attention to inner wisdom and acting on intuitive direction. We can use our inner knowledge, also known as intuition or gut instinct, to help us make decisions that are in line with who we really are. A greater knowledge that is beyond reason and logic is accessible to us when we connect with our inner wisdom providing direction beyond what our conscious minds can understand. This intuitive guidance can bring clarity during uncertain times. We may face the obstacles of life with more self-assurance and genuineness if we can learn to trust this inner voice. Using techniques like journaling, mindfulness, or meditation is one approach to connecting with our inner wisdom. We can access our inner intuition and reduce the interference from outside sources by engaging in these activities. Our ability to connect with our inner guiding system can be strengthened by making time for introspection and reflection. It takes bravery and confidence in oneself to follow an intuitive direction. It could include taking chances or choosing decisions that go against popular belief. However, we align ourselves with life's flow and create space for new possibilities and opportunities when we honor our intuition and act upon its insights.
Understanding the difference between authentic intuitive cues and fear-based reactions is crucial. Intuition can frequently be tricked by fear into taking us off the right path. In order to successfully utilize the strength of our inner wisdom, we must learn to distinguish between these two forces. Lastly, techniques that can alter our lives and help us achieve personal fulfillment include listening to our inner wisdom and acting on our intuition. We give ourselves the ability to make choices that are true to who we are and that fulfill our potential by developing a close relationship with our intuition. Unlocking our innate abilities and intuition requires us to acknowledge and value our individual strengths and talents. Every person has a unique set of intrinsic traits that distinguish them. Whether it's empathy, creativity, analytical prowess, or leadership capabilities, we may better connect with our true selves and increase our self-confidence by recognizing and appreciating these strengths. We may work from a place of authenticity and integrity when we embrace our uniqueness, which promotes better enjoyment in both personal and professional undertakings. Participating in activities that highlight our unique talents is one approach to honing our distinctive strengths. Using our abilities to solve problems through painting, public speaking, mentoring, or problem solving can give us a sense of direction and fulfillment. We improve our abilities and make a good impact on the world around us when we actively use our capabilities. It's critical to keep in mind that each person is unique and has both talents and shortcomings. A more rewarding life path can result from concentrating on utilizing and developing our special talents rather than comparing ourselves to others. Accepting that people have different strengths encourages people to work together and gain from one another in a variety of contexts. Embracing gratitude exercises into everyday routines can also support valuing one's own strengths. Gratitude for our gifts fosters an optimistic outlook and emphasizes the significance of our own skills. Through this practice, we can become more self-aware and cultivate a greater sense of gratitude for the gifts we have to offer. Chapter 6. Balancing Effort with Trust in the Universe one of the key principles in balancing effort with trust in the universe is taking inspired action without being attached to the outcome. This concept involves aligning your actions with your intuition and inner guidance while letting go of expectations and attachments to specific results. When you take inspired action, you are following your heart's desires and acting from a place of authenticity and alignment with your true self. This type of action is fueled by passion, creativity, and a sense of purpose rather than external pressures or societal norms. By releasing attachment to outcomes, you free yourself from the constraints of fear, doubt, and control. Instead of fixating on a particular result, you trust that the universe will guide you toward the best possible outcome for your highest good. This surrender allows for greater flow and ease in manifesting your intentions. Practicing non-attachment also cultivates a sense of detachment from success or failure. By focusing on the present moment and enjoying the journey rather than fixating on the destination, you can experience more joy, peace, and fulfillment along the way. Furthermore, taking inspired action without attachment opens up space for serendipity and unexpected opportunities to unfold. When you let go of rigid expectations, you invite synchronicities and divine interventions that can lead to even greater outcomes than you could have imagined. Developing a belief in divine timing is essential to strike a balance between your work and your faith in the cosmos. It entails giving up the conviction that everything occurs for a reason and is part of a bigger, more divine design than we can comprehend. People who adopt this viewpoint are able to let go of their desire for control and let life develop organically. This mental adjustment promotes tolerance, adaptability, and acceptance of the situation as it is, independent of the outside world. Believing in divine timing also entails realizing that delays and setbacks are not always barriers, but rather chances for development and reorientation. It necessitates having a strong sense of trust in the intelligence and kindness of the universe, despite difficulties or uncertainty. Reducing tension and anxiety associated with deadlines and results can be accomplished by exercising patience and believing in divine timing. People can move toward their goals with more peace and tranquility if they give up trying to control circumstances or compel results. Furthermore, developing faith in divine timing creates room for thankfulness and appreciation for the bounties and synchronicities that appear along the path. It enables people to see how experiences and events are related to one another, resulting in a greater sense of fulfillment and purpose. 
Giving in to the bigger picture is a significant gesture of faith in the knowledge and direction of the cosmos. It entails letting go of the craving for total control and realizing that something bigger than our own goals and aspirations is at work. People recognize that there are forces at work that are far more complicated and intricate than what first meets the eye when they submit to the larger plan. This submission necessitates a strong feeling of humility and faith, realizing that we are but a single component in a much bigger picture. The ability to let go of resistance and attachment to particular results enables people to flow with life's inherent rhythm. It creates room for synchronicity, serendipity, and unanticipated blessings to arise, pointing us in the direction of our ultimate good. Accepting ambiguity and uncertainty with bravery and grace is another aspect of believing in the bigger picture. It necessitates being willing to travel into uncharted territory with an open mind and heart, understanding that each turn in turn contributes to our development. Giving into the bigger picture doesn't imply giving up or being passive, rather. It means actively working with the cosmos to co-create our reality. By bringing our intentions into harmony with the will of God, we can open ourselves up to become conduits for love, light, and change in the world. Giving into the bigger picture is essentially accepting an invitation to dance with life's cosmic symphony and believing that each note is intended to create harmony and beauty in the overall scheme of things. It is a significant act of faith that guides us on our journey through this enigmatic universe in the direction of greater fulfillment, meaning, and connection. The Conclusion Why I Keep Failing Just Let Go illuminates the profound wisdom within the paradox of pursuit guiding readers to harmonize effort and surrender in their quest for success. By addressing the detrimental effects of desperate chasing, the book underscores how relentless pursuit can stifle natural abilities and intuition, much like trying to force a flower to bloom. Through compelling analogies and thoughtful insights, it champions the art of balancing action with release. Central to this explanation is the recognition that true achievement lies not in the intensity of our chase, but in our capacity to attract opportunities through mindful balance. The book's key points emphasize the importance of knowing when to push forward with determination and when to step back and trust the natural unfolding of events. By embracing this equilibrium, individuals can discover the power of surrender in reaching their goals, ultimately learning to trust the process without falling into the trap of excessive control, letting go offers a transformative perspective, revealing that success is not merely a distant goal to be relentlessly pursued, but a state of being that we align ourselves with through the artful interplay of effort and trust. It invites readers to master this paradox, unlocking the potential to attract what they desire with grace and harmony. Thanks for listening and please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and also click the small bell icon to receive a notification every time a new free audiobook has arrived. Thanks again.